I heard said, uh, somebody said IT was easy and AV was hard, so I take my hat's off to you right there with that. So first of all, by show of hands, how many people have been to San Antonio, Texas? Ah, all right, good portion, all right. So let me go through real quick, if I need it. That's yes, is it? The city that you know, the city, when you think about the city of San Antonio, you probably think of this one. No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, yes. There we go. This one iconic building right here, the Alamo, right? And so when you go there, you usually walk away disappointed because it's usually smaller than you think it is and because you think everything should be bigger in Texas. But the other thing we're also known for is raising families. And so a lot of people have become well-known school districts, urban growth within the Riverwalk. And so Mark Cuban gives us a lot of tr grief about this because he calls it the Dirty River. But if you're local, you only go down there when you have overpriced, when your relatives come to town for overpriced margaritas and fajitas. So it's a great place to go, though, otherwise. But the city that we see is one where people are coming together as a community. They're sharing ideas. They're collaborating. And if I can get this to work right. They're sh collaborating. They're talking to each other. They're, sh they're sh giving the each other feedback. And they're also seeing a revitalization of downtown San Antonio. But before all that happened, one of our co-founders acquired another company. And when he did, he asked those co-founders to move to San Antonio. And not there's nothing in San Antonio, San Antonio that attracts me. I'm going to move to Austin. Attract me. And so at that point, our, one of our, our co-founders, Graham Weston, said, how do we build an entire city? So he approached the city of San Antonio and said, look, over the next 20 years, we have to transform the city of San Antonio so that we are a place to attract people to come down to San Antonio. So with that, three organizations were formed. 8020 Foundation, Geekdom, So here's some just staggering numbers. 79 million in, in revenue. Seventeen hundred members, five hundred fifty companies have been formed through Geekdom itself and things of that nature. Salary in San Antonio were of the companies that are being paid there, they're paying their employees. And then what we saw recently is that 78% didn't require a college degree. So there, there is still good for colleges, and we have a great partnership with the universities, but there is some opportunity if you don't have that college degree. So just as a quick map of downtown San Antonio, all these companies, if you looked at this map six years ago, this would have been blank. None of these companies would have been there. But because of what we have been able to spark in partnership with the San Antonio, city of San Antonio, you now have all these companies moving to occupying office space in further downtown San Antonio. So why does all this matter? Just as last year, all you've had all the companies that we've learned from the community. I have a lot to stop flushing the, the paper towels down the toilet. But what I can do <laughs> is I can bring them together and I can help celebrate wins. We can share victories, we can talk about successes and things of that nature. You have to have a clear mission. Right? When we first started six years ago, none So you have to sell up and have a clear mission of what it is. And our commission is to help create the next 10,000 tech jobs in downtown San Antonio by doing that. People's home, but we planted our flag in a real place in downtown San Antonio. And there it is, right there in downtown San Antonio. That's where we're at right now. And we'll never be anywhere else in downtown San Antonio other than that one place. Oh, we have to focus on our strengths. This thing has a mind of its own here. Focus on our strength. You're not going to see San Antonio probably be home the next big thing, but what we will be is home of what we call the plumbing of the Internet. A lot of companies there are focusing on supporting things that are in the Internet, whether it be, you know, sto uh, solutions, where data solutions, we have Pier 1 solutions, rack space, things like that. The plumbing of the Internet there. You in the dense places. And so when you look at our building, the very historic building right in the middle of downtown San Antonio. And when you look at that and all the companies that are part of that, of course, of a company that had started there and had tremendous I can tell you all the success stories from all those pictures that are there from companies that have been through there and over the last six years. And of course, you have to sell the vision before you sell the facts. 
So when we started six years ago, you know, I didn't sit there and tell them that we were going to be this great influence in San Antonio. We were going to have a partnership with the city of San Antonio and creating new programs, partnerships with USA and the military, all these great things that have helped us grow our city to something that's tremendous. I had to tell them that this is our vision. We are here to help create the next 10,000 tech jobs, and this is how we're going to do it. And this is the, I have to show them. This is what the mountain we're going to climb. Just like you have mountains out here, we have to climb up to the top, and we all have to start at marker zero when we do that. And there you go. So these are the seven principles that we learned. Definitely should have to show with those in further detail later. And there, thank you. All right, five minutes.